Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Destroying a target with aircraft delivered weapon is much easier said than done. A bomb's impact point is greatly influenced by two set of force. Altitude, airspeed, dive angle and separation effects caused by airflow around the aeroplane are the first set of forces affecting the bomb. Now as the bomb falls, its flight path is further shaped by a second set of forces which are gravity, aerodynamic drag, wind, air density and even minor changes caused by Coriolis effect. The magnitude of error caused by the second set of factors is directly proportional to the distance bomb travels to the air and the bomb's slant range. The trick to precision bomb is to arrive to a release point with a unique set of release condition matched to the desired impact point. However, the wind velocity, air temperature and the density can be measured at the release point but they do not remain constant throughout the bomb's fall. This is the reason why we need the precision guidance kit to improve the accuracy of the bombs. Now recently, Ministry of Defense has approved acceptance of necessity for long-range guided bombs and range augmentation kit for conventional bombs for Indian Air Force to improve the precision weapon delivery capability. Now, as per a recent report from Financial Times, Tata Advanced System Limited (TSL) has independently designed self-guided bombs. TSL has also secured order and is set to deliver the self-guided bombs to Indian Air Force by March 2023. However, the details about the guided bomb and the aircraft for which it is being procured is not reported. DITU has also developed long-range bombs. It is an inertial guided bomb with GPS or Navic satellite guidance, which is an upgrade from existing laser guided weapons having limitations such as range of delivery from target and susceptible to environmental condition. The inertial guidance system is an electronic system that continuously monitors the position, velocity and acceleration of a vehicle, usually a submarine missile or aircraft, and provides navigation data or control without need for communicating with base station. When it is installed in a bomb, the system can navigate the bomb to designated target by continuously providing updated navigation inputs. Such systems have unique ability to perform without depending on the external inputs such as ground-based navigation aids as well as GPS. It does not have an engine of its own but runs on the inertia imparted to it by the aircraft. Now there are at present two variants of DRDO's glide bomb which includes Gaurav and Gotham. Gaurav is the winged version of the glide bomb having a range of 200 km and weighs up to 1000 kg. There are three versions of this bomb depending upon the type of warhead it carries, which includes pre-fragmented warhead or penetration come blast warhead or tandem pre-fragmented warhead. Gotham is again a non-winged version having a range of 30 km and in future its range will be enhanced to 100 km. It weighs around 550 kg. There are two versions of this bomb. One is Gotham pre-fragmented warhead and second one is Gotham with penetration come blast warhead. The LRGVs have circular air probability of less than 50 meter. The Gotham LRGV will be manufactured by Adani Defense which has also showcased it during the MO India 2022. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.